Hi everyone, I'm making this video to share a small, a small uh, Revit plugin that I created to solve some issue with uh, importing SAT files into families and being able to apply materials to it. This is something that they used to work fine in Revit 2016 and lower, but after Revit 2017 it, uh, it changed and now it's not uh, working at least how I would like it to work. I'm going to show first. Uh, so this is uh, Revit 2016, it's a new family, an empty family using the the generic model uh, template. So now I'm going to insert uh, a SAT file. The SAT file is, uh, I modeled it in Rhino, this is the solid, just for testing. So this is the SAT file, I import it. And now if I uh, explode it, explode, full explode, I have my solid here that I can edit with these uh, blue handles. And most important, I can apply a material to this individual solid. I don't have to go to by category or anything like that. I can apply the material that I want to this solid. So this is all right. But uh, what happens now if I try the same thing in Revit 2019? So this is Revit 2019. Same thing, an empty family. And I'm going to insert my uh, cut file again. Test solid. And the first thing you notice is there is no explode button anymore. And I cannot apply any material to this element or uh, change the, the geometry. I don't know why this happened, but uh, I work in Rhino a lot and I like importing my, my solids and applying the materials that I want. So this for me was, was an issue. So for that I wrote a small uh, plugin that what it does is basically brings the functionality of 2016 back to 2019. So for that I go to add-ins, external tools, import SAT as FF, it's a free form. So I just click here, test solid, uh, same thing. But now you can see we have the blue handles and we have the material. So I can assign this uh, material of this solid to uh, a parameter that I have here just to show how it works. And now I can uh, load it into, into a project. So right, right. Then, then. So I can uh, component, I can create instance of my, uh, of my element and I can apply the material that I want to each of them easily. I don't have to go anything by material or by category or, or similar. Or this is an instant parameter, so I can change it here. Uh, a concrete. And it works fine. If I go then to multi-category uh, material takeoff, I can see that uh, everything is, is working. So for me, this is a small plugin. It was, it's really simple, but uh, it makes my life a little bit easier when bringing geometry from Rhino or even from, from Dynamo sometimes. So I'm going to leave a description on uh, how to install this, this, this plugin in, in, in the text uh, below the, the video and a link to, to the files that, uh, that you need. So maybe I think that's all. Maybe you can try it and maybe someone else will find it useful. Thanks.